wanted to languages. So it wasn't that clear cut. So I was in high school and my real passion was ballet and I was uh, training very, very hard to become a dancer. So I have what's called a proleptic lectureship. Kind of every time I have to tell somebody it something. It's really prolapse. It sounds like a disease, right? Prolapse. Yeah. <laughs> I think when I was at school, I remember biology, things like biology, history, having to sit down and just really learn a whole pile of stuff. It was the solving a problem aspect of maths and being able to work everything out almost from, from start to finish rather than having to learn that stuff. I think that's probably in a nutshell why. Towards the last year in high school I started to realize that I was really good at mathematics which was a big surprise because when I was a little girl I was very bad. I was always in the slowest group and so on. So. I don't think anybody, including myself, ever thought I could have a talent in, in mathematics. It's just really enjoyable and my PhD, which I do, I apply it to MRI data of the brain. So it has applications. And there's not much of interpretation and uh, I guess some people will say it's not bad because it's not enough freedom, but that's what they like in mathematics. People just think it's just solving equations and things, but it isn't. It does have applications to real life problems which you can solve many problems. The beauty of math for me is well you fall in love with it and it becomes a passion, it becomes nearly an addiction and and then if you choose to do it as a career and you really of course you never know if you will like it. You start, oh my god you do a PhD, will it work? First year you have no idea what you're doing, you think it will be a complete disaster. <laughs> then you get again you get the first results and it's because you need to have perseverance and you need to work hard, but it's a lot of fun. What I didn't know initially when I chose maths, initially for me it was a good career path because I thought I can become a teacher, I can uh, go to private industry, I will get a decent job, I can have a break and raise family, a family <clears throat> and still will get a job because it doesn't age, so it was a very, very rational decision. But then I realized that I really loved it, so as soon as I started where I could do my own thing and a bit of research, like, well, I fell in love. <laughs>